In this video we are going to calculate with MDT the volumes between the original terrain and the one modified by different methods. We have opened the drawing with the existing terrain and we start by importing a previously designed alignment which we will use for the generation of the profiles. Once imported WE obtain cross sections from the drawing. We designated the alignment and this time instead of selecting the digital model we chose the layers on which the contour lines are represented. We write the name of the profile file to be created and assign a width to the left and right of 50 meters with an interval between profiles of 5 meters. We now open the drawing with the proposed terrain and we obtain profiles with the same alignment and also cutting the contour lines. Now we run the volume command by cross sections difference. We choose the profile files of the initial and the proposed terrain. Below is the dialog with the parameters we accept all default values except for topsoil thickness which we enter. A report is shown with the results where you can see the surfaces and volumes of cut fill and tops oil sorted by station in addition to the totals and the net difference. Press the draw button and modify the scale of representation of the profiles. Within advanced options we activate the drawing of a grid. We accept the changes and indicate the origin for the drawing. We see that the profiles of the initial and proposed terrains have been drawn labeling the elevations on the alignment and the areas of each one. We delete the represented profiles. We now proceed to calculate volumes by mesh difference to do this we must generate a mesh from each surface we execute the corresponding command choose the surface of the existing ground and the mesh to be created and indicate a cell size of half a meter. We repeat the same process with the proposed terrain with the same cell size. k time equals, ones, greater than the volume by mesh difference command asks us for the calculation parameters, which we accept by default, and the mesh files to compare. The results are displayed, which we can draw by activating the corresponding box. We chose an insertion point for the legend, which represents color gamuts for cut and fill areas. Finally, we will present an example of calculating volumes by plots. We open a drawing with previously created plots and execute the command volume by plots. The dialog shows us a list of the plots found and the calculation parameters. We accept and ask us for the initial and final surface files. The results are shown, including for each plot areas and volumes for cut and fill, in addition to the perimeter of each one. 
We can also draw the volumes, similar to how we have seen above.